All right, welcome back to day three, you guys. Hopefully you're feeling great because yesterday you did your mobility exercises like you're supposed to. If you didn't, make sure you do those before you get into these movements now. We're back to the lower body and the three movements that we're gonna be addressing today, we're gonna do the barbell back squat, we're gonna do the hip thrust, and then we're gonna do a walking lunge. So Justin is gonna take you through the mechanics of the exercise, then afterwards, Sal's gonna break the science down and explain to you why we program this way. Make sure you guys follow this to a T. I know when you're motivated and you're just getting started off in January, you'll wanna do as much work as possible, but that's not the idea. Let us progress you through every single day. I promise you'll benefit you that way. So the barbell squat, the king of all exercises, setup is very important with the barbell squat. You want to place the bar relatively low on the trap, squeeze the shoulder blades back, stand up nice and tall, um, step away from the rack, and then perform your barbell squats. You, now, also, you also notice that Justin's squeezing his shoulder blades together too, so he's pinching his shoulder blades. It creates like a shelf for the bar as he squats. That's right. And the tempo, you want to go down to the bottom and come up. You want to take about... I don't know, two or three seconds on the way down, one to three seconds on the way up. Good, tall, tight posture, feet flat. You don't want your knees to cave in or to bow out. Um, you want to kind of sit back a little bit. Most of the weight on your feet should be kind of towards the mid to back part of your foot, although you want your feet to stay flat. You don't want toes to come up or heels to come up or anything like that. Now the stance on a squat, about shoulder width or slightly wider than shoulder width is ideal for most people. The toes can be pointed out a little bit or pointed straight ahead. You want to keep the chest high and head high as you do your squat and you also want a full grip on the bar. Most common mistake I see when people squat down is the knees caving in. So pay attention. You want to keep your knees opened up. You don't want to actually push them out, but you want to keep them from collapsing in. Here's your barbell hip thrust, probably one of Justin's favorite exercises that he likes to do. But when you do this, you want to make sure that your upper back is rested and you want to keep your chin tucked. So you want to be, your chin is tucked, you're looking down at the barbell the entire time. You want to place a barbell across your hips, on top of your hips. Uh, you can use one of the squat pads and make it more comfortable. Keep your feet flat on the floor. You're going to press down into the floor, lifting your hips up and bring them up as high as you possibly can, feeling the squeeze in the glutes. You want your knees to stay in line with your feet the entire time. Right. When you're driving up, you're driving up off the hill heels, and then when you get all the way up to where your glutes are squeezed and your back is level, your knees and your guys' heels should be all lined up, so you don't want your feet way out in front of you or tucked underneath. The tempo should be anywhere between one to two seconds on the way up and about two seconds on the way down. It can be a power exercise, but we want you to do these with good control. The walking lunge, this is a staple lower body exercise. Now, Justin's holding weights. Uh, if you find these difficult, you can do them body weight. Most people, in fact, are probably doing them body weight. With the walking lunge, you want to take a big step forward. The front knee should barely pass the toes or sometimes not even pass the toes. You don't want to have a too much uh, – you don't want your foot too close to your body, I should say. When you do these? Well, the longer the stride is, the more you're going to feel this in the glutes. The shorter your stride is, the more you're going to feel in your quad. So we, you, we can play with that a little bit. If you want a little bit more quad development, you can shorten up your range of motion. If you want more glute activation, you can do a lo much longer stride. You want nice, tall posture with every single step. As you step forward, you go down. Then you step forward to bring the feet together and then switch feet. <clears throat> you also notice as Justin is doing this, he's stepping out to the side just a little bit. You don't want your feet to line up. When you're doing a lunge, you will lose your balance if you do it that way. Right, and as you step out, you'll notice that one of the common mistakes, people's knees will want to cave in. Keep, it, keep your knee out from caving in, and then also pay attention to his posture. His chest is up, his shoulders are peeled back, standing upright. All right, so today's workout was all lower body. Now, before I get into the exercises, I want to be clear. When you pick the weight that you want to do with these movements, pick a weight that you could do the rep ranges with perfect form. Form is the most important thing here. So if we tell you to do eight to 12 reps, you wanna have eight to 12 really good reps, not eight to 12 crappy reps or six reps that are good and then two reps that are bad. Form is crucial here. Now the first exercise we did is the barbell squat. This is the king of all exercises for a reason. It elicits the best hormonal response of all exercises. So you'll think, see things like growth hormone and testosterone will raise, uh, especially in men. It works the lower body, the entire lower body, and it works some of the upper body. Believe it or not, you get a lot of back activation with the barbell squat. 
Then you moved on to the hip thrust. Now hip thrust is all posterior chain. It's all the back of your body. Some people will say it's superior to squats for working the glutes. That's up for debate, debate but if you combine the, both of them, you're gonna get great glute development if you do them both together. Finally, we did walking lunges. Walking lunges are very functional. So uh, when you're doing them, it's like you're literally walking, but accentuate the movement. Step forward with your movement. Get that hip to fire as you step through with the exercise. Remember, it's only three exercises right now, but as we progress, we're gonna be adding exercises and adding volume. With all these movements, we're aiming for three sets, eight to 12 reps. Do not lift to failure. So if you pick 10 reps, that's a weight that you can max out 12 reps. You wanna stop about one or two reps short of failure on every single set. Finally, tomorrow is another mobility day. So you're gonna be sore or you may be sore after today's workout, which is perfect moving into tomorrow where we're gonna focus on mobility. Look, share this video with your friends, get them on board with this workout. It's a great workout, it's every single day. You got mobility, you got flexibility, you got strength training. Also subscribe to this channel. We post new videos all the time.